Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Fannie Willis, her nightmare scenario just came true. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. I think Fannie Willis thought that this case against Donald Trump was going to make her career, going to make her a superstar, might even get her to become the governor of the state of Georgia, something Stacey Abrams fell short of twice. Maybe she thought she was going to be the one to get that position. Not so fast. See, Fannie Willis had a lot of problems with this case from the very beginning, starting with Nathan Wade, starting with the fact that she hired her lover at a tremendous salary, and then that lover went ahead and took her on all kinds of expensive vacations, and the fact that the Senate didn't even approve the money for this man. She didn't have to disclose that she hired him. And now, after the judge gave every reason to disqualify her and then chose not to, well, the appeals court is taking up the case and it looks like there's a really good chance they are going to disqualify her from this case. And that, that could be the end for Fannie Willis. Her 15 minutes of fame, sorry, clock ticked, you're done. I want you to watch this report on it because it sheds light on the reasoning behind this, what the appeals court may or may not do, and why they're taking the case. So I want you to watch this report, and then, as always, please let me know what you think when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. And really, to put it in layman's terms, you can't just dirty the guy up. It has to be relevant to the charges. That's why they overturned the Weinstein case. That's why Trump's case is almost certainly ripe for reversal. All right. The Georgia Court of Appeals says it will consider former President Trump's request to disqualify District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Wow, we haven't said her name in 15 minutes. Uh, this is in his <laughs> election interference case. I thought she'd be a reality TV star by now. Nope. The judge in this case had ruled that Fonnie Willis could stay on the case only if her former lover and prosecutor, Nathan Wade, dropped out. So he quit. In Florida, the judge in Trump's classified documents case has postponed that trial indefinitely. She says there are still way too many issues to, that need to be resolved. And on top of that, special counsel Jack Smith admitted that seized documents from Mar-a-Lago are not in their original order in sequence. All right, make this make sense. Yeah, they're all falling apart. Part of what's going on here is that the sh the uh, rush to indict Trump, they're all stepping all over each other. So Cannon, Judge Cannon in Florida, has the wherewithal to say, I'm going to postpone this case because he's stuck in New York and these cases are all conflicting. Now mm -hmm. you get this mess relative to the evidence, the federal case is not going to be heard until after the election. That looks like almost a certainty. So what's left? you got the Fannie case. Here's the thing about the Fannie case. Now, the Senate there is investigating. They have subpoena power. She says she won't respond. Let's see if they can get her in. Here's the holy grail there, especially with the case having gone up on appeal. You need to get the evidence of her texts and other material between her and Nathan Wade. You'll open her up to perjury. She said wow. under oath... Okay. that she has campaign money or in a closet. Uh, Paul, 